guys, Tawny here again. Uh, I am going to do a new art journal page featuring Dina Wakely. So I got these new stamps in the other day and I love, love, love them. Look at this saying, make art and your soul will listen. Oh, adorable. Oh my God, I love it. So I thought I'd do a really quick um, art journal page. I love Dina Wakely and I know I say I love everybody. But she has such a free art style, right? She's um, she's messy. She's uh, just very abstract. She's very much just just put the paint on there and just don't overthink it. Um, if you ever have the chance to take a class from her, she has a couple of them online at dinawakely.com. She is uh, one of my most favorite artists, just as a human being. She's a, a wonderful woman, very brilliant artist. Um, I have taken many classes from her um, and I truly appreciate her. So Dina Wakely, um, it is going to be in her six by six watercolor journal. Um, this is a really thick watercolor journal. So it has like uber thick watercolor paper. Um, you can see I played in it. This is one of my pages from a while ago. Um, it just is an easy, just something that's small, something that's easy, um, to, to just put together. So I have, uh, I thought I'd just put something together here. To put this all together, I have, uh, her color palette. So I have several of her paints here. Um, we have Cheddar, Fuchsia, Ruby, and Sky. So a really kind of, I don't know, bright... Um, I, would, I don't know if you call them royal. I don't know. This is my color palette. I'm also going to use the, I have some gloss sprays. So white, fuchsia, and cheddar. I'm going to show you a really cool technique with the white um, and some stencils. So I'll be using that. So this is the acrylic in a spray. So this is like paint in a bottle. Um, so love, love, love these. What I did with her stamps, and this is just something I actually learned from her in her class. When I get new stamps from hers, I uh, just stamp them on paper, just regular kind of copy paper. And then I also stamp them on her collage paper. So you can do collage paper, tissue paper. Her paper is, is much better than tissue paper. It's a little bit more durable. Um, so I just stamped a whole bunch of images because I was trying to think about what I want to do. So I have this ready so that I don't have to go hunt for my stamps, go figure it out. Um, I have it kind of all here and ready to go. I think I'm, I'm really going to do these circles. Love these circles. And these circles because I have a matching stencil. So I will find the stencils here in a minute. So I'll have, I have those kind of cut out. I also have some of her pre-printed collage paper. So this already has some paint on it from a previous art project that I didn't use. Um, so I may use this because it matches the circle background. Okay. So I will um, decide when I get there what, what I'm going to do. Then I have this traditional Chinese ink black. I bought this a really long time ago. It's meant for like um, calligraphy. You know, they do the beautiful calligraphy art. It's just black ink. Um, it dries permanent. I put it in a little jar. I don't need that much ink. It just came out really fast. So I have that. Um, I have some brushes. I have some stencils. Uh, the This one is kind of just a scratchy pattern. Um, this is the one I'm going to use that I'm going to show you a really cool technique with that white uh, acrylic spray. This is the circles that matches the stamps, okay? So it's similar to so this one right here, matches the stamp. So I thought that would be good to tie it all together. I also have a um, just this patterny uh, stencil, and I love, love this stencil here. Okay, last but not least, I have my trusty splat box. So this is a Ranger product where um, I spray ink and it goes all over everywhere. And I have like my computer, I have everything. Not that I'm uber picky. Uh, it just, it just is a cleaner mess. Um, just to try to not put things on monitor and things. So that's my trusty little splat box. These are, um, I think a godsend. You can use a regular cardboard box. Uh, if you don't have those, but we also have some of these as well. Okay. 
So that is what I have. So I'm going to, I'm going to start off with the, um, the acrylic paint. So I'm going to put this orange and this red together. So I'm going to just put a little bit here on my craft mat and a little bit here. So I'm going to put them side by side. I'm going to take this really big brush here and I'm going to put some water, quite a bit of water in it because this is watercolor paper. So the more water you have, the more it will move. Um, and I'm going to pick those colors up just kind of side by side. And I'm really just going to swoop. Okay. I'm going to just pick that up and I'm not going to overpaint it. I love that extra, um, that texture. Okay. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to swoop. So now I have this extra paint. Okay. So this extra paint, what I can do is because I don't want to waste it. Um, I have these little stamps that I know I'm going to use. So I'm going to take a littler brush and I'm going to just kind of paint some color on here. color that I want to add that I wanted to kind of show you the trick of is this this white gloss spray. Uh, so I'm going to take this and spray it here. I'm going to use this stencil. So you want to shake it up pretty good. When you do use these, you want to make sure you put the lid on um, and maybe wipe it off when you're done so that it doesn't clog that because this is acrylic paint in a spray. Um, but I'm going to put this grid here and I'm really just going to spray over that. Um, so I'm just going to add some of that texture. So. add that fuchsia color okay so this is the red and the orange so I want to add this fuchsia color so I'm going to do um, two things I'm going to add with a swoop with the water and I'll show you that trick of that acrylic paint so the acrylic paint when it dries it's going to dry permanent if I were to add this fuchsia we could blend some of those colors um, if they weren't completely dry fully with the circles so add a little bit of paint the fuchsia and maybe not the big brush. Let me use her uh, one and a half inch here. Okay, add a lot of water. Um, and I'm really not, I'm not gonna overthink it, but I'm just gonna make a circle. Okay, maybe another circle here. Okay, and if you can see, this kind of that white resists this fuchsia. So it, it resists it a little bit, so it, it adds just kind of a texture behind the scenes there. Um, so that it, it just is adding some of that color, but you have the texture that you added before. Okay, so a little more obvious. A little more strokes. Okay. Then I have a little bit extra... Again, I'm going to kind of draw in some of that color. Now I have this stencil, the circle-y stencil that I want to introduce because I have, they match this circle-y tissue paper and the stamp. So I have this um, tag. And even though I have the red there, I kind of want to add 
like a purpley circle on the right. So I'm going to take this. So see how that added on top of that it just added the pattern there. Okay, and I have some left over, so I'm going to add some extra there. Um, maybe I will add a little bit of that. Okay, we're adding, just building some of that color top. Okay. And her hint is if you keep around a lot of tags and such, you can, um, uh, not waste your paint and just keep making a whole bunch of tags at the same time with the same colors like it doesn't the more you play the more you will find that you like it okay so looks really cool so you have this background texture that's peeking through the water so that's that white we have this texture here I want to make it kind of pop so I want to um introduce this blue uh, but that is what I have I'm gonna use a little blue and I want to put so I want to keep I'm gonna add this blue here Okay, so that just popped. That just brought this extra, extra color into it, into all of these, and an extra texture. So I'm gonna add, so I'm okay with this white space. This is where kind of my title and stuff is gonna be. So we're really just focusing on the background here. That's my background um, and I have way too many pieces here I know I'm not gonna use all these but it's fun to play it's fun to play if you have something so now I'm really just gonna compose kind of the that focal point
that's it. That's my really quick art journal page. Um, so fast and messy, lots of messy, uh, but I like it, right? So it still has some white space. We brought in the black and the blue. That blue made the orange and the fuchsia and the red pop. Um, I'll mess it up. I'll cut that off when it's dry. Uh, so that's my art journal page. So if you uh, liked it, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below about what you thought and maybe some ideas of you. What would you like to think or what would you like to see? Uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell if if you want to keep updated with all of the fun that we're having. Um, so thanks again. I appreciate you. Make art because you're worth it. Thank you. Bye.